Hello my classy people, TGIF, my name is Wayne Bolden, I'm your speed king of course. Turn your closed captions on, we're one week out from the Belmont Stakes for sure. Please get your orders in for your tip sheets, they're $20 per day. Friday is about six steak races, including the Phillies, three-year-old Phillies, at corn steaks. And, of course, Saturday has about nine graded steak races and a bunch of other races. So email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com, and you can text us, 732-804-0637. Get your orders in so we can get that part of it out of the way. Please, $20 each day. Great, great way to support us. We do appreciate it. Well, I'm over at one of my favorite tracks this Saturday, the 3rd of, Jan of June, of course. Hey, listen, Woodbine, a race, grade 3, right? It is the Bell Mahone Stakes, a mile and 16, right, for $150,000, Phillies and Mares, four-year-olds and up. It is a field of nine, and just like the 7th race, I got a bunch of long shots. I'm going right to El Malocchio. Well, the number five horse, El Malocchio. Uh, this here five-year-old has four wins from 21 starts, six seconds, three-thirds. This horse is by Super Speedy. Uh, Dexler is doing the training. And this horse is running the second race off of last year's layoff of 105 days. Very, very speedy. Should be able to sit second or third behind uh, the top runners and have a great great pace figures for sure. I love El Malocchio in this race. Our second pick well is going to be a horse that's 20 to 1. Miss Gree. Right? Miss Greer. Miss Missy Greer. Missy Greer the number six is 20 to 1. Right? Missy Gear. Uh, 10 starts, 2 wins, 2 seconds, 2 thirds by Night Chris on the back end by looking at Lucky. Danny Gargan is doing the training. You got Declan Carroll's in the yards. This horse is making his 4 year old or making her 4 year old debut off of a 155 day layoff, right? This horse is very, very fast and should be on the front. I'm going to use this horse at 20 to 1 equally. Now remember, I love a 20 to 1. In the seventh race at Woodbine with Emma Jane, sweet enough, okay? So I'm going to probably be playing doubles the seventh race to the eighth race. The number six horse here is 20 to 1. I like him just as equally as I like our top pick, El Malocchio, okay? So our second pick is Ms. Jeer, uh, uh, right? Yeah, I think it's Jeer, right, at 20 to 1. And if that ain't enough, perfect. The number seven is also 20 to one, right? Perfect has three wins from eight starts and one third. By Medaglia Dora on the back end by uh, Bernardini. This horse runs across the synthetic by way of Turfway Park. Guess who's doing the training? Michael Stenham. And we got this young kid in the arms, Mulger, Munger, who's 30%. So again, our top three picks in the eighth race at Woodbine, the Bell Mahone Stakes, our horses are eight to one, the five horse, the six horse is 20 to one, Miss Jeer, and the seven horse Perfect is 20 to one. So our top three horses are eight, 20, and 20. Can I find the box button? Now, what if I round out our super? Well, let's find our fourth horse here. Well, if I had to pick a fourth horse, right, to do this box, I would probably lean to the number one horse, who is the favorite. Here's where the trouble comes in. The favorite, the number one, Mora. Mora is two to five. There's not a man alive that could pay the more John two to five. The one horse is two to five. He's no faster or she's no faster than my three top long shots, the five, six, and seven. So why is the one horse two to five? Well, she's won four of seven starts and one second. They paid 150,000 and here's the kicker. Mora is by Go Zappa. Oh no, he didn't, yes. But I'm not taking two to five. I'm telling you that right now. Go Zappa or no Go Zappa? Well, the number one, I'm not sure who installed this horse at two to five. This horse is coming off of a 210-day layoff. But 
The reason that the horse is two to five, the last time she ran was November 5th at Keeneland. Breeders' Cup Day. She was in the Breeders' Cup Philly and Turf Mile, a mile, a Breeders' Cup Turf Phillies and Mares, uh, a mile and 316. She ran fifth by six behind Tuesday in Italian and Lady Spangle Spear. Prior to that, she was in the Grade One Teller Stakes at Woodbine and lost a mile and a quarter and lost by a net. Okay, to Rogier, to Chad Brown Rogier. So that's why they're doing this, right? And prior to that, she won at Woodbine an overnight stake race August 21st of last year, the Queen Plate Stakes. She won by seven limbs, and that's why she's two to five. But she is still coming off of a 210 day layoff. Now, you know I love my horses with rest, four to six weeks. But I don't like them coming out of retirement. 210 days? Hey, we'll take a chance against the 2-5 to five Marora, um, a Marora, um, Marad, Marora, right? M-O-I-R-A, Mora, Mora, right? We'll take a chance against her at 2-5. to five. I mean, if she wins, she wins. It's Kevin Attard. You got Kumar in the arms, of course. Top Rider is the daughter of Ghost Zapper. Hello on the back end by Unbridled Song. Two to five is just way, way too short. And to me, she's no better than my top three picks, who are all huge prices. The number five, El Malocchio, is eight to one. The number six, Miss Gear, who I love just as much because she's going to be on the lead at 20 to one. The number seven, Perfect, who's 20 to one. Five, six, seven, one for us. I'm going to box those up just like that. And I'm going to play doubles back to the seventh race as well. Okay. I got long shots all over the place at Woodbine. Both stake races, race seven and race eight. Look at both of our videos for sure. We like five, six, seven. We like the five, six, and seven. We're going to try to beat the two to five. Win eighth race on Saturday at Beautiful Woodbine. Talk to y'all real soon. I'm having a bunch of fun. Won't take me a lot of money to make money in these races. My horses are all long prices. Have a great weekend. One week out from the Belmont Stakes.